and we're gonna be happy and we're gonna feel silly. We, yeah, when we're watching so this obviously video. this is this is how we interact in real life. We uh, yeah, we're over expressive. I look at you without, and I, yeah, we're over expressive. We talk to a random person. I always do that. Yeah, and I look. I always look right there, and as I'm talking to you about something. Hi, I'm Darian. Hey, I'm Chan. I don't know why Darian was so seductive right there. <laughs> But we're going to take some time here and talk about The Division, which I have not played. But Darian has played. He's clearly excited about it. He's making noises. <laughs> so, okay, Darian, you've spent a number of hours with this game. Yes. So let's talk about it and see how good it is. Um, let's start out with the gameplay. Um, what do you think? All right. Well, before I go into the gameplay... I want to use a reference that a friend of mine, his gamer tags, Fustradamus. Shout out to Fustradamus. You're the man. Uh, he used the reference. He said that the game, before I asked him what he thought about it, and he said that the game's not a vertical slice. And, yeah. So, what do you mean by that? All right, so... It's not a portion of the game. It's not like we, the beta was the first level or first two levels of the game, and you got to play like the story from this point to, so to the end. It was like, in like a piece of an open world, the dark zone, which we're gonna get into later, and then the story mission, and it kind of just introduced you, to how the game, like the dynamic, how the game's gonna work and what you're gonna do to kind of build up your base, um, but there was only like one or two type of AI and we'll talk go into more detail about that later and it, you only had you only had access to certain sections and you didn't have like a full you could only like mod your weapons to a certain degree apparently there's like a whole different more depth to it but we could just add little pieces and things to our weapons so it wasn't like one chunk of the game it was like just right. pieces little pieces of a sampler of different parts of the game so you get all of it but um it's it, we, you don't see the whole game but we get what the what the experience is supposed to be like yeah yeah it gives you like pieces of, of, of what the experience is like so going off that how do we feel about um how the game handles all right i am i have to admit i'm pretty um i was excited for it before but i'm Definitely gonna buy it now. I might not be as excited as I was before, but I definitely am interested in buying it and I want to see the full product so I can make my full assessment. So let's get into it. Like, how, uh, okay, so going, playing the game, going into missions, how is like the uh, the AI handling for you? Um, okay, well, I thought. Let's talk about um, good and bad. So, what didn't work? Alright, well, I felt like the gameplay for this. For this game is the strongest point of the of the game, and the AI is involved in that a lot. The things that I, I feel like the we'll go negatives first, okay, and then we'll talk about the positives. Okay, because I think it has a lot more positives than it does negatives. Okay, one, like I said, there's a lack of diversity as far as the AI. There, I, there was a small mission where you had to play against cleaners, which are like guys who have flamethrowers, <laughs> but which were like the coolest part of the game but um as far as the ai it was literally every single person had this it was like a person with baggy jeans a hoodie and a cap <laughs> and they all looked like eminem about to like rap in eight miles <laughs> all of every single lap every single one of them and they okay. and not one of them held their gun like tactically straight they all held it to the side like quote unquote <laughs> gangsters and hoodlums okay right so and the, the ai as we're um as we're tackling it now, not the smartest bunch. Not but, at all. But how do they act? Okay, some of some aspects of them, because they're not all the AI are dumb. Like there's aspects of the AI that are dumb, but it's not dumb in general. Mm. Because, and I'll get to the positive in soon. But the dumb part of it is like, again, and I'm referencing my friend Fuss Dramas. Maybe he should be <laughs> in this in this video or podcast because he is. <laughs> <laughs> he made some very valid points that I was interested in. Uh, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is now the worst, the worst review ever. It's fine. It's, fine. it's okay. Let's get this out. 
No! Okay. Okay. It's fine. Okay. You know, off the cuff. Okay, anyway. off the cuff. Anyways, <laughs> maybe she should be here. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. This is officially turned into a welcome, podcast. Welcome to Bad Reviews. <laughs> Hey, I have a friend here's who's a, been feeding me every a, single here's every a, single important <laughs> Here's what someone else said. And let me tell you, this guy I know, he really said something about this. As my phone goes off. Yeah, oh of course. Cause because people who make videos and podcasts, they don't have cell phones. Uh, not during the video. It's supposed right? to be right. a video review. Okay. Okay. Well, it's turned into a podcast. Yeah, so. I guess so. It's Hell, audio format okay. now. Okay. So now we, no yeah, time. Yeah, we breached let, into that. Let no, we, let's just we go. We we transcend yeah. all types of media. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. A, an every, so an the everything. AI. This is just everything. Yeah. Okay. So now this is a uh, video game review podcast. Getting uh, into politics. As we go. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something about Donald Trump. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I okay. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um. So no, but the the dumbest part of the AI, um, and like I said, I referenced back my friend Fuzz. He mentioned, which I thought was a very valid point, was that he doesn't like dumb AI, and not mm. dumb like where that they're weak or they can't hit anything, but like what co- like, they have guys in this game that have bats that run at you with bats, like which is <laughs> fine. Like <laughs> right. if a guy sneaks up on you with a bat, he's gonna do some real damage. But if a guy's running across a courtyard. When you have a semi-automatic weapon straight at you, like, right. like they're charging the gates, <laughs> right? I mean, we're all just gonna like put them down. Every footage of this game I've seen, someone has a gun at the very <laughs> least, and most likely a semi-automatic. Yeah, or they have a gun, a pistol pointed sideways. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they obviously, because that's how riot- all riders right. in New York are. <laughs> so, so someone with a bat is not gonna last long in this setting. Apparently not. We we taught them. We taught them not to come but, into battle. But a with lot bats. of but a lot of AI opponents have that. Yeah, no. There's. It, I would say like it would be like twenty. I, we had like a portion where like five or six of them came out at the same time, and they were pretty like overwhelming. I'll admit that. Yeah. Because they have lots of health, so they're kind of they can kind of um, sneak up on you if they're close. But like you're sure. running across the but level, but you still shoot them in the face <laughs> and they're dead. And they yeah exactly right. And now we're gonna trickle over onto the positive. Yeah okay, this. let's talk about what's good. All right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the first thing that I want to bring up is I like we because we we're talking about the AI and that I thought aspects of them were dumb, but also sure. that they were not completely stupid. Sure. There's uh what what happened was is there's on the part of the mission, which we'll talk later, is yeah. a lot of enemies come out, and a majority of them stay right kind of in front of you, but then some of them go onto the side, and they flank you from kind of both sides. Cool. And they And that's if you let them. Like, if you're not mindful, I know that there was a... When we early on, before we were kind of understood how the AI worked, we would, they would all come out, and we'd be focused on the ones that are right in front of us and not yeah. on the sides. Yeah. And they would sneak up on us, and we'd be flanked on both sides, and it would put us at, like such a disadvantage and i thought that that was pretty unique because well i'll say a lot of games uh flank you but in this game it's really important to be behind cover and the way that they do it so i don't know it looks like they creep up on you because at first they're like all in front of you and then all of a sudden there's guys on side you're like how did this guy get over look there's a dude on the left you know yeah so despite the uh stupid uh bat wielding idiots yeah um the the flanking mechanic actually prevails and that's when the batman (laughs) excels Uh, yeah the bat guy excels at when once he once he once they sneak up on you yeah and they're actually next to you and they make it around yeah and they get close to you they can do damage because yeah. their melee, melee does a lot more damage than yours does. I mean, cool. you're hitting them with your elbow. They're hitting you with uh, Louisville Slugger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that makes sense. So even though um, there are, you have uh, assault rifles and there's a lot of idiots with melee weapons, the AI uh, counters that by having like flanking maneuvers exactly that's and pretty I, cool and i kind of like too there was a time where we kind of overwhelmed them after we kind of leveled up a little <clears> bit <throat> more in the game and we because we ran the mission multiple times yeah um and we there was times before 
when we would take a, a multiple or like a large majority of the enemies out and the last like four or five of them they would <laughs> run away and then they would regroup with us the enemies that were coming and then and then taking out like battling through the streets and taking out opponents um there's something you mentioned about like the the um the pulling you in as a like um personality wise like how did that factor in there's something about um, <laughs> the, the a killing the ai is not just mowing through you know um like halo mowing, mowing through like different uh yeah different enemies they're not just growling <laughs> yeah my uh my favorite part so far the ai and one of my favorite parts of the game the experiences because i feel like games too they're not just about the graphics and all and about all that together and, and the gameplay and graphics but also the experience and one of yeah. my favorite experiences throughout this beta was when i was playing with my boys we were all running into the crew and we overwhelmed them and they were like some and we like we're destroying them and i take out a particular ai and they start running away and then and the ai is like hey they got alex <laughs> Oh my god! And I felt extremely bad because I'm like, wow, Alex must have been really important. Like, he must have been like either high ranking in their rioting group or like he was like someone really important to that guy's life. Yeah, He's like he was the best man in my wedding. You know, like yeah, I felt really bad. Like I, he yeah. wasn't just another face or another yeah, AI. Yeah. He was Alex. That I, and that I definitely add something. So there's a, there's a bit of like personality to the AI. It's not just idiots with bats. Yeah, we forever are going to let's take a moment of silence yeah. to to mourn Alex. We will forever mourn Alex. Alex, gone but not forgotten. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so okay. moving on from the game. <laughs> Everywhere. So <clears throat> yeah, so it sounds like it's pretty solid. There's a lot to do. But um, we'll move on to how the game looks and the visuals. How does how does that hold up? Because there's been a lot of controversy that the game is not as um, advanced as it should be. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go over negatives and then we're going to go to positives. Okay. okay. Um, you know what? <clears throat> the negatives about this game, and they, the only factor in, about the graphics of this game, they only factor in so much because, in my opinion, they're just not that good you know the graphics they're not bad they're not horrible they're not like playstation 2 graphics maybe like really strong ps3 graphics yeah but they're not that good i mean i was playing me and my friends we decided to go back and play some titanfall which yeah. is one of the re early release games of the xbox one i believe it came out within the first year of it yeah if it wasn't yeah. a launch title yeah yeah and the graphics for it are stunning like it was still some of the best wow. graphics that i've seen yeah and this game doesn't even compare to that. So yeah. the graphics, and also they were a little bit mis misrepresented too, because like during E3 and all the different game conferences, they showed it on the computer, which on the computer, the graphics look amazing because for this game, you can, I believe you can put them at anything that you want. So if you have like yeah. a really strong computer, you can make the graphics like very detailed. Sure. <clears throat> but um, the graphics, they were just kind of misrepresented. It's like, if you would have just, came out from the beginning and said this is what the graphics are going to look like for the consoles we're going to show you on the consoles because that's what it's going to be like because most people who are buying this game are going to be playing it on console yeah i expect um then it probably wouldn't be so ill received but because they're just really not that impressive there there's some things about it that i do like and i'll get into that in a moment but you know it's not really comparable to any of the games in this you wouldn't compare it to any game like oh the graphics are amazing i wouldn't even say they're on par with like destiny uh, sure but and the, 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 the i noticed the thing that really takes away from it i think is textures mm. and what i mean by the textures is like i remember being behind cover and it really doesn't matter but you know one of the things about they were showing with this engine for this game is like you can shoot bullets into the car window and it shows the little <laughs> holes and it, like, yeah. they don't just disappear and you can pop the tires but like when you shoot like concrete or anything like that it doesn't chip or smoke or anything like that barely at all and like mm. there's not you don't see <clears throat> a lot of stuff that's broken yeah i know that their setting is like what well, was kind of not too far after the outbreak or whatever yeah on black friday but it <clears throat> nothing looks like like none of the graphics look things don't look broken or cracked there's not right like, cement cracked or anything like that and the textures just kind of look one color they don't look like they're like it's pretty bland <clears throat> like yeah they look pretty bland like they're they're you know like how 
like Nintendo 64 <laughs> would have like on GoldenEye, which was yeah. great for its time, but like one color for like yeah for oh like that's concrete, that's gray, that's what it was kind of like. But a little yeah, bit more detail than that. I, from what I've seen though, at least um, at least it holds up frame rate and like there's a lot of effects in 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 the actual gameplay what i've seen so there's weather like snow and rain and, and things like that and then pop up as well so when you're running through the streets you don't suddenly see buildings pop up so at least it, it seems to me like it held up that right yeah like and i don't i feel like it's a powerful game like the transition between walking down the street like enemies don't just appear or like like you said buildings don't just appear and when you go from yeah. the regular like city into the dark zone which is pve and pvp which we'll get into later yeah um you don't really you don't they don't it's like a seamless transition that's the way that i would describe it. the weather there was a couple times i was playing with my friend knuckles and we um we were going through into the dark zone and we were trying to escape because we were like level five mm -hmm. <laughs> like level five uh, like level five bounty or level five rogue whatever they refer refer to it as and we got, I got lost in the snow. I think I led us down the wrong street because we were trying to run away. Um, end of the story, we did make it and we got our dark zone points. But yeah. <laughs> the 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 text, like it was like realistic weather. You know, like people get. I now I can kind of understand how people can get caught in the snowstorm. Yeah. And you're right, there wasn't like very much pop up. Yeah. Well, that's that's like kind of basically what I saw. So, yeah, that that's. That's okay. It seems like it might be better on PC, but um, still, like, not not super. Yeah, like the well. graphics. Um, the graphics look very like they're solid. Like they're not bad graphics. They're just like what they're just not that good. That's what I'd say. Like they're not. And I'm not a graphics snob. Like I care could care less. Like for me, Castle Crashers is like you know, and that's like not yeah. even a super, you know serious graphics like yeah. games like that i enjoy just as yeah, much yeah. as like a game like titanfall whose graphics are like super amazing you know yeah uh, so then overall like what what do you think of like um h how the game plays i guess um i was i was pretty happy about how the how the game plays um there was a few things though that i think that they needed to um I hope that they change in the final build of the game. And it may be because, like we were saying, it's not a vertical slice. Um, because there's only, like I said, there's only a couple types of AI throughout the entire game. And there was some things that were kind of, like, boring when you're, tra when you're transitioning from, like, walking through the streets of New York to getting to the Dark Zone. There's really nothing in between. Like, there's the mission. That's right, yeah. Yeah, there's, like, the mission and then there's the dark zone and there's a lot of like wasteland in between there. right so there's missions and then the a giant world full of nothing so yeah it, it reminded me of, like i am legend like when he's just walking around hunting for deer <laughs> that's yeah. what it was like but there was no deer <laughs> but but it is beta so i guess we can allow it like um yeah we and, can allow it a, a, a pass and for me i'm the most positive person about games like i will throw my money away and throw my money at a game like just let people let developers just take my money so that I can right. try out try out a game, but uh, and then just wait until they have the, I have the full product before I make my assessment. Except for Battlefront, that game's garbage, and I will never give any money to <laughs> to them for that game. But, but very loose form. <laughs> yeah. Um, back to by the, the way. Don't buy Battlefront. <laughs> this message anyway. is brought to you by Darian and Chin. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I have no opinion on that, but I haven't played it. But uh, I agree with Darian, because clearly he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Obviously, um, I'm kind of a savant, <laughs> and so, I'm kind of respected in this community. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on in yeah. the game. So Okay, so we've talked about the, the actual gameplay and the missions and the AI. Mm -hmm. And the graphics. So, <clears throat> you mentioned the Dark Zone and the actual online multiplayer. So, how, how does that work? The Dark Zone is basically the PvP area. Let's talk, let's talk about that, the Dark Zone. Okay. I'm a really big fan of the Dark Zone. It can be frustrating at times. Do not go into the Dark Zone by yourself. It is really definitely a PvP. Like, you should not, you should not run in that place alone. Unless you're, like, seriously packing heat. Because the Dark Zone... It's a scary place, my friend. 
yeah. it, I so it's, it's also PvP and PVE. So it's got computer okay. like AI that are stronger than the regular AI out I in the see. streets. Okay. Um, the, and you also have player versus player. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So you go in there. And do they have missions in the... You have to do missions or something like that in the Dark Zone? Okay. So, during this... From what I heard, in the actual game, you're going to have missions where you need to go into the Dark Zone. Okay. But yeah. um, right now in the Dark Zone, what, what was in the um, beta is basically the only thing that there was to do is you were going around trying to find AI. Um, there's, like, buildings full of really strong AI that you'd have to go in and, like, just, like, take them out and they would drop loot. Yeah. And the whole thing about the dark zone is you, the weapons in the dark zone are like tainted. Like you can't, you have to send them back to like your home base and get them like basically clean. Like you have to send them to the washer <laughs> before you can use yeah. them. Uh, and so you'd grab, you'd find weapons and things and then you'd go to these drop points and there's like, <clears throat> I believe there was three drop points in a safe zone within the, um, the dark zone area that we were allowed to go into. Yeah. And you would shoot up a flare and then you'd have to hold your spot for I believe it's a minute and 30 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Hold hold it. Sometimes computer and um, uh, <clears throat> the environment, like p computers would come at you and try to attack you. And then other times you would see like, you'd have to be like very, very mindful of people, keep an eye on them because yeah. they could come and, and jack you for it and then use your, your own helicopter to lift yeah. the, those things out of there. Now... The th my favorite part about the Dark Zone is, and people can disagree with me on this, is I really like the tension that it breeds. Hmm. And I the part that you can disagree with me on is I feel like it's what Grand Theft Auto PvP should have been. Because, like, hmm. the whole <clears throat> mindset behind, b b behind GTA at first was just, like, jacking someone else or having to worry about someone else. Yeah. But eventually it just came chaos and people running out with rocket launchers and car loops <laughs> floating and tanks right, and stuff like right. that. Right, right, yeah. But this breeds a specific kind of tension, like kind of like a wild, wild west where, like, you have to worry about bandits and worry about people. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, that makes – that's pretty cool. Like, yeah. There's times where you'd be running down the street trying to get to, a, like, an extraction zone and, like, people would be running – trying to do the yeah. own thing, go find things and meet at waypoints and you'd run into like random like people not ai or computers but you'd find like actual players who were headed to do their own kind of like cool. missions to or to meet their friends and you'd be like whoa 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 everybody like like form up keep keep yeah. a, keep your eyes up like oh there's a guy over there make sure you keep an eye on him like and you'd be like ready to go, like, yeah. hey, keep an eye on this guy. If he starts firing, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna handle it. That's so cool. It was really, it's really cool because you, the second that you decide to go rogue, if you decide to go rogue, it basically shows your position uh, periodically, like every couple of seconds, on their on everyone's screen. And if they hmm. take you out, they get dark zone points, which are used I to see. like buy stronger weapons. So like the second that you go evil or go dark zone or go, excuse me, go rogue. Like you look like a steak, like you know, <laughs> like yeah. when the like the Looney Tunes, the old cartoons, when like the, they get super hungry <laughs> and the person would turn into a steak. <laughs> that's what happens when you go rogue. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so basically, like Dark Zone PvP is awesome. Like it, it's cool, it's tense. There's plenty to do even now in the beta. It it, it seems pretty yeah. pretty developed. It was it was Al almost like that's what they've been kind of focusing on. I would okay. agree. I think, like I said, I go back to the vertical. So <laughs> go back yeah. to the vertical. It's just a little down. bit, yeah. You only have so much of it because we only got one mission. And we're going to talk about the mission in a second. Okay. The um, thing, the last thing I want to talk about the Dark Zone is that it. I felt like it was a realistic um, storyline for the for a post-apocalyptic post <clears throat> yeah. setting. Like, Black Friday is the perfect setting to pass out, like, anthrax or, like, some type of, like, yeah. airborne pathogen because everybody, large volumes of people are going to these places and for it, yeah. to, it would spread super fast. So, it's, I felt like, it didn't feel like, uh, I was able to, like, um, <clears throat> be, be able to believe in it and not feel like, oh, this is, like, such a game or, like, this is so <laughs> unrealistic or that's yeah. ridiculous. So, I really, I really like that idea, like, oh, there's this zone where you can, like, get... Makes like, sense. Where, where all this stuff is just tainted. Yeah, there you go, terrorists. <laughs> Take it on. 
Yeah, like if you didn't have any good yeah. ideas before. Yeah. Come to come Black to... Friday. <laughs> Didn't you think of that, you dummy? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> come November. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so you mentioned okay. <clears throat> so let's uh let's bounce over to the actual story of the game and yes. and the mission the the real plot of the the overall game. So if someone just wants to get the game, and and play it for the story. What's the mission of the game? All right. So the mission in the game is basically it's like before you are able to get your home base, which I believe is like a post office or something mm. along the which like it's gonna have like your security system, it's gonna have your technology area, it's gonna have your um, <clears throat> like hospital kind of like area because mm. it's like your uh, your base that built base of operations that you're building up, and the first mission that they provide you in the beta, I don't know what the actual first mission is, but yeah, your your mission is to like save like some doctors. I like this really this lead doctor to like um, to basically get your like base up and running and like have to to be able to like I don't know heal people or soldier like sick people come and also I, I believe that it increases some stat stats that you're gonna find out throughout the game and you're able to unlock uh, certain things. I know I was able to upgrade one of my perks um, from getting the mission done and getting a few side missions done. Um, so I saw I definitely saw. It was integrated to like upgrading your character yeah the um mission though i was really really impressed and i enjoyed it i hope all the missions have as much um replayability um there was like l keys that you could find in the game and you could use them to unlock like a little side door that you could run into it and you would die if you go into it but you were able to get like a kind of like an item that would be helpful for you so it was really cool because it's like, wow, if that's in this like one mission, imagine what's gonna be in the actual game. Yeah, like, sure. And you also had like it was in like Madison Square Garden that you were like fighting through. And it, it was like turned into like a makeshift hospital when the breakout first happened, and <clears throat> you're going through kind of like the remnants of that and um, trying to save this doctor. And I just thought that mm -hmm. the that it it was really exciting and fun, and they made it like something kind of like D destiny you kind of run the same mission over and o missions over and over again but you run them with uh, at different difficulties i see and they the first time running through the mission the first couple times it was really fun you ran it on easy and you just kind of did it to get experience and whatever like the enemies dropped but when you, we found out that when you ran it on hard that you automatically got a um i guess it was a rare a rare weapon like it was automatically added to your inventory so you yeah. would keep we kept doing it over and over again, trying to level our characters up and to see what kind of drops that we could get. And that kind of helped us level up so that we were strong enough to go into the dark zone. That's cool. Yeah. So there, even even now at beta, there's a good like level of difficulty. You can play through the missions. But there wasn't a huge, huge amount of missions at, at, as of like right now. No, there was, there was only that one mission. And that's why I was kind of impressed because you think for a beta or a game like that yeah that one mission would get super boring but really fast and i'm sure like of course you can only play one mission so many times sure before you get bored of it but like we were able to, i i must have but ran that mission at least multiple seven times. eight nine ten times and okay i was still like finding difficulty in it. i mean the easy and the hard are there was kind of a dramatic difference like you sure. had to like you couldn't you couldn't do the mission by yourself on hard in my opinion so, I'm sure if you were like really, really tried to and took it real slow, you could. But like, it's not. It would be very difficult get, to do it on yeah, hard by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's um, really quickly let's talk about like story, um, people that are characters, and the story that that takes place. How, what do you feel about that? Okay. So you know, it's funny. It's really not. It, nothing was very memorable about the actual mm. story itself or the characters, like. I remember there's this like an Asian lady, National Guard lady, who was like vi was like super injured when you and she saved you at the very beginning when you first started, or it looked like she saved you, and her eye was all jacked up, um, and I don't remember her name. Like no nobody that I asked remembered any of the characters in the story. There was no memorable characters. <laughs> yeah. It was just more of the experience itself. Um, it was yeah. It's really just more of the experience itself. Than yeah. Anything. Yeah, like compared to 
some pretty major games we've known in the last number of years that that have character names that we know for sh like that are stuck in exactly. even even in like uh, pop culture exactly like you got the, master this chief one, you yeah got... ma there's no master chief there's no uh you know gears of war characters there's, there's no, no big no... boss right know, from metal gear solid there's metal no yeah, marcus phoenix right so right now it's kind of lacking in the story character department <clears throat> well so far like i said we only right. have so much i think that it's important you know you you have like, um, like even in Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare, like there was the, you everyone knew their main character's name was Soap. It was like a random name, right? You know, his name was Soap. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you there was just, and you never even actually saw your character in that game. Like you just, but I mean, I mean, you just don't even. There's no, there was no like there's branding. No there yeah. was no branding for like, oh, this guy's gonna be in the story the whole time. <laughs> Maybe the lady, because I do rem like she was the first person you saw, so it's kind of yeah. like, and she talked to you kind of like explain to you what what you were doing and what had happened but really there's no i don't, sure. I don't rem remember anything really. so there's there's definitely room for improvement in uh in the like story character department but mm. but we're only in beta so so then moving on uh, overall like granted uh given all of these uh, aspects the story the gameplay the graphics um what's your impression of the game uh I'm optimistic and excited. I'd say I think that the game it has so much potential from what I'm seeing to be like the next Destiny. It's like Gears meets Destiny. And people use that reference a lot because of the way that the game is that like hmm. you have weapons drop and like random if you take out enemies there's weapons drop and it can be like yeah. you know normal, uncommon, rare, like you know different they have different kind of like um brackets of weapons that you can find they have is, like it, legendary is it ones. color coordinated yeah like blue it's exactly yeah. okay it's like gray is normal gray uh, blue, the next level is gold. green okay blue, green, blue gold. uh purple then gold cool okay yeah yeah but overall I'm, I'm pretty i'm pretty happy about it i think the um the strongest point of it is uh, is the gameplay um i would say the visuals are unimpressive but because there was a lot of contrast to your character was very detailed like that you could tell that they took a, a time with all the clothes and details and there's so much like weapon skin that's one thing that was cool is like there's it's hard to find weapon skins so when you found them like it would be really unique when you had one on uh there's so many different types of clothes that like none of us look or dressed the same and it was only the beta um <clears throat> and i don't know maybe that's all that they have but i thought it was a good it was awesome that they had had that i never saw anybody too with the same weapon skin like i had a white one i never saw one person the entire time um cool thing too you could give people food like little these are just little side things like give someone food like a random homeless person food and they would give you like a random item and that's how i got my weapon skin yeah so that was real cool um so yeah visuals you know i maybe you know i'll say that metal gear solid kind of ruined <laughs> ruined things for me because for that that game is so the controls are amazing, but also have some of the most impressive graphics I've ever seen in a video game. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it, it's hard comparing it to that, but but we don't want to, like, comparing it to the, especially since it's in the beta. That's true. That's yeah. very true. I, you know, like I said, I have my, re I have a few reservations, but I'm yeah. overall excited. The, yeah. The Dark Zone, like I said, was awesome, and my favorite part was the mission. I, I thought the mission was great. Though it was, you know, though there wasn't very really many memorable characters, I know that there was a doctor that you saved, and she was like, she's yeah. like a lead surgeon, but besides yeah, that, I mean, I could, nothing. She didn't stand out. She, yeah, she could be, I don't even know her yeah, name. Yeah, could have been know. my own mom. If she had yeah. the same name as my mom, I would have not known. Right. Okay. Well, it, but but overall, the game playing uh, is good. I think a positive. I think a positive outlook for the game, right? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the game coming cool. out. Right on. It's coming out in March, so we look forward to that. Uh, I heard and some stories about be there being an open beta, but I don't think so. I think the game is going to be coming out. There's not going to be any more playing of the game until yeah, it actually nothing drops. until it comes out. Cool. And then we'll do a follow up, I guess, uh, when it actually comes out. We'll see what was changed. Hopefully, um, updated graphics and a little bit better story and character. Everything else sounded pretty good, right? Um, yeah. Aside from that, um. Um, like I said, optimistic and excited. Yeah. It's going to be great. That's cool. Um, 
I'm Chan. And I'm Darian. Also, you can call me Woods. Darian and Chan. And uh, we don't have a sign out. Yeah, we don't. We're going we're so, to get back to you guys on the sign out. Like, yeah, so <laughs> now this is awkward. Uh, okay, that's the end. <laughs> Bye.